Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by my channel and welcome to today's workout. We have a good one today, um, not so much in one of my high intensity workouts as it is a mobility um, and stretching kind of video. I've had a lot of requests for this. So without further ado, we're going to get into it. Um, before we start, I do want to throw out there, make sure you have your water. Um, <clears throat> if you have a block, uh, you do not need it, but it, I will tell you when it could be useful. Um, this should be something you should be able to get in your home. This is from an old pair of pants, but um, some kind of band or um, just like a, a long piece of material. Um, it may help you with some of the stretches. Again, you don't need it. Um, and then a pillow to go under your neck for some of the lay down stretches. Again, don't need it, but if you want to incorporate it, um, the first 10 minutes are going to be a little bit more mobility and movement, get us warm a little bit, and then we're going to go into some stretching for the last part of the video. And I will write in the description box below what you can skip to if you want to skip all the mobility and movement and you just want to stretch. So let's get started. Um, we're going to start with just some deep breaths. <clears throat> start with your hands at your heart. We're just going to take a deep breath in. And out. And this time bring your arms up and take a deep breath in. And bring it all the way down. <clears throat> Hands touch feet or the floor. And we're just going to hold here for a second. Take a few deep breaths. There's going to be a lot of deep breathing in the video. Um, so be prepared for that. All right, bring it up, deep breath in, and all the way back down as you breathe out. And bring it up. I'm gonna turn to my side and back down. Okay, step or hop, the feet back, and we're gonna go into an upward dog, so bring it down slowly, flip over your feet, Come into an upward dog. Take a nice deep breath here. And try to lift your uh, thighs. If you can't, that's okay. Press through the tops of your feet. Keep your chest open, shoulders down. All right, now come over your feet into a plank. Hold that plank for five, four, Press through the heels, two, one, and come into a downward dog, and just kind of play around a little. Press through one heel, uh, bend one knee, and then do the opposite side. Get a little, a little downward dog dance going on. Okay, again, we're just warming up the body with some mobility. Okay, and hold. Now you're gonna step your right leg up to your right hand, left leg up to your left hand. You're gonna come halfway up. So hands will be on your knees. And then you're gonna come down and all the way back up. And we're gonna take it all the way down and we're gonna do that one more time, a little bit quicker. So bring it down, come up halfway and back down. Jump or step it back. Come forward and into upward dog. Take a deep breath and come into plank. Hold for five, four, three, core is tight. One, and bring it up. Okay, look up to your hands and either half or step up to your feet. Bring it halfway up and back down. And breathe all the way up to the top. And one more time, we're gonna do that. This is a sun salutation. Bring it all the way up for those of you who are not familiar with yoga. And down into a plank. And we're gonna bend the elbows, bring it down slowly. Come into upward dog. Take a deep breath. Feel the stretch in the belly. Open your chest. And come to plank, hold for five, four, three, two, 
one and bring it up to downward dog. All right. All right, now look up at your hands. Bend your knees and hop it forward or step it up like we did the first time. Bring it up halfway and take a deep, deep breath in while you bring everything up. And hands at heart. I'm gonna face you guys again. So what we're gonna do next is fix my mat again. <laughs> so what we're gonna do next um, is we're gonna do a little bit of a, a reach. So there's some movement involved in this one. You're gonna start with your arms up. You're pressing into your heels to stay stable. So arms up, and then you're gonna hinge at the waist and you'll reach out to the center. You should feel a stretch in your hamstrings uh, and your glutes. And then we're gonna come all the way down and tuck it in between our legs. You should feel an even more of a stretch in your glutes and hamstrings and also a little bit of work. And then we're gonna bring it back to the center, reach, press through the heel to reach a little bit further and up. And let's do that a few more times. So reach, press through heel, and we're going in between the legs. Hey -o. Okay, and reach, and up. And reach in the middle, and in between the legs, and back to the middle, all the way up. Let's do five more full, full, full reps. So middle, in between, Middle, up. Can't even see my face. Middle, in between the legs. Middle, up. There's two. Okay. Reach, tuck, reach, all the way up. Keep your core tight. Okay. Good. Let's do one more. And let's stay tucked. Reach your hands as far back as they can go. Keep, I know this is gonna sound weird, but keep your shoulders rolled back. Still, don't hunch forward. Stay, keep your neck straight. Good, and back up. Good. <clears throat> so next, we're gonna do a little bit of a lunge variation. So, We'll start up top and we're going to step back. My hand comes down and we're going to twist. And we'll hold and we're going to bring it back up. Step back, twist. Your, your uh, knee can come down if you need it to, otherwise let's keep it up. You can Ch get a little bit of the challenge. Get a little bit, push a little bit harder to get the challenge. There we go. All right, and bring it up and back. And we're holding for about three seconds while we're down here. You should feel a stretch right here and then um, in your hip flexors, in the hip flexors of the leg that's behind. Okay, we're gonna do three more on each side. A little bit quicker, okay? So bring it back, step it up, bring it back, arm comes up, step it up, back. Good, last one. Good, bring everything down, and we're gonna do a couple of cat cows. So bring it up, into cow and breathe out as you come into cat. Breathe in, come into cow and breathe out as you bend. Push your tummy into your spine. Don't put any tension on your neck and breathe in. And out, one more, and breathe in, in, and out. Very good, okay. 
Next, we're gonna come into a side lunge, but it's a little bit more of a stretch. So we'll start with our legs wide. We're gonna come down into the left side. You're gonna feel, you're gonna let your foot come up a little bit. Okay, so you're resting on your ankle. You're gonna feel a really nice stretch in your inner thigh. And to the other side, we're gonna hold for about three seconds. So yes, this is a lunge hold. Yes, you may be feeling a little warm, maybe even a, a little sweaty if you're in a humid room like me, but this will help also with the, the deep stretching at the end, being a little bit warm. I am not a fan of deep stretching when I'm cold. It doesn't do much for me. So I like to be a little warm. And if this is your workout for the day, if you're still getting some movement, even though you decided that you wanted to stretch today. So thank you for joining me still, even though you didn't feel like working out. Let's do one more on each side. Okay, good. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of an arm stretch. So you're gonna take a deep breath in. You're gonna bring it up and you're going to grab your right ankle with your left, or right ankle, your right elbow with your left hand. And you're just gonna hold, if you've been in a gym class before, you've probably done this stretch. Okay, bring it down and back up to the other side. So this time, right hand is on left elbow. And bring it down and back up. Sorry about no music this time. Okay, bring it down and back up. We're gonna do one more on each side. I just kind of figured, I don't know, for a lot of the stretches, we're gonna hold them for 20 to 30 seconds. and. If you're like me, sometimes you need a little bit of a mental break. Sometimes silence is, is the key to, to some peace in the head, right? Silence, stretching out your body, feeling good. All right, last one. Okay, good. All right, hands go behind back. We're going to do the chest stretch. So you're you're going to uh, cross your fingers like so. Also, what you want to make sure that you're doing is pressing through your heels so that you're, you're not just going like this, so that you're staying stable in your core. Keep good form. All right, and bring it up and switch fingers. So whatever the weird one, the, the, the one that doesn't feel normal, do that. And we're gonna do this one more time on each side. Really, really uh, press through that chest to open up. And breathe in and out, back to the normal side. This will help, especially with you know desk jobs and uh, the hunching that comes along with that. Unfortunately, this has been a hard journey for me with my back, so. Bring it in, up, breathe in, and back to the weird side. So go one finger over, press through heels, keep your core tight. Okay, good. All right, last, last movement uh, thing that we're going to do is we're just gonna do some slow side-to-side -side squats before we start getting into some Serious hip flexor stretches. Again, I like to be warm when I'm doing any kind of stretching or mobility. Um, and again, you you did some movement today. So even though you did a mobility and stretching video, you still got in a little bit of movement. And be proud of yourself. Let yourself feel good. It's okay if you take a break. It took me a long time to learn that. I think I'm still learning that. Okay, one more on each side. Good. All right, we're gonna get on the ground. <clears throat> the first one we're gonna start with 
is a seated pigeon. So you can lean back, hands can be behind you. Um, and so I saw somebody do this and it seemed like the easiest way. So cross your left ankle over, no, your right ankle over your left knee and then just pick up your left leg. And this is a seated pigeon. Now your chest, you want your chest to be up. I mean, you shouldn't, you don't need to be like pushing all the way through, but you wanna be conscious that your chest is up and out. And you're really feeling it in that hip flexor. So right about here, in the glute, the hip flexor. Like I said, you guys, we're gonna be holding this for about 30 seconds uh, in each, each stretch. So it may not, it may seem like a long time, but it should only be about 30 seconds. And I'm gonna try to keep my mouth shut a little bit during the stretches. I'm so used to talking and it feels awkward not to, but I'm gonna try to keep my mouth shut, um, you know, after I tell you what to do for the stretch so that we can just kind of get in our head. Starting now. <laughs> okay, bring, bring your leg down, put your left ankle on top of your right knee and bring it up. And we'll hold the stretch and just take some deep breaths. And guys, I just want to point out, even if you can't do the stretch the way I'm doing it, you're not as flexible as me, and I'm not even that flexible, but if you're not as flexible as me, it's okay, just do what you can. You're gonna get there. You will get there. Remember to keep breathing. Good. All right, bring your right knee down and I'll straighten both legs in front of you. Bring your arms up, take a deep breath in and fold over. You can press out through your heels. You can hold your <clears throat> calves or your shins. Um, if you can't reach your feet, that's totally okay. Let's take some deep breaths. If you have to bend your knees, that's totally fine. Take a deep breath in and bring it up and bring it back down for five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up. Let's widen our legs. <clears throat> and we're gonna come to the middle, so crawl out as far as you can. Okay, if, I'm sorry if I'm not at a perfect angle for you guys here. I mean, it could be, so okay, here we go. Bring it forward. And let's just stretch. You should feel this in your inner thighs. You should feel this in, in your hamstrings. Make sure that your heels are pressed flat to the ground. And this would be a good time, guys, if you have a block. You could literally just put it and take a nap, take a nap. Okay, bring it up. Okay, so for this next one, if you can get your right leg to um, to bend into a triangle with your right foot uh, a little bit above your left knee, great. If you can't do 
that, then do the best that you can. Even if you're down here past your knee, that's okay. Just do the best that you can. And we're going to bring everything up and then back down. Now, for the most part, this is just a normal, you know, forward fold stretch. Uh, but you should be feeling a little bit of a stretch in your back as opposed to um, just the hamstrings and the calves. You should be feeling this a little bit more. Um, the angle should be fine. I, If I were to um, say anything about this, you would want to go on at, at an angle that if you were to put your arms on the ground, your right arm would hit the ground before your left arm. Yeah, before your left arm. So if you can imagine how to kind of angle that, that's the angle we're looking for. Um, if that doesn't make sense to you, let me know and I'll try to explain it better in the next one. And deep breath. In and out. Do the other side. Okay, switch. So your left foot is above your right knee. Bring your arms up and fold. So for this side, it would be your left arm. If you were to kind of try to angle yourself properly, your left arm would be would come down to the ground before your right arm. Don't forget to take some deep breaths. Checking time here. Don't mind me. Okay, good. Bring it up. We're gonna do some arm stretching. Well, let's start with wrist. So let's do some some wrist stretching. We got one more leg stretch, and then we'll call it a day shortly. So come forward on all fours. You're gonna turn your your wrist your so your um, fingers are pointing at you and we're just going to bend it back and we're going to hold here for a few seconds probably not the full 30 and if you need to come forward and kind of bring it back again that's totally fine we don't give our wrists enough love I don't think and bring it up and back down Okay, good. Now let's come onto the tops of the palms right here. Okay, I have to be a little bit more careful with this one, so um, everybody's different though. And then you're just gonna, again, bring it back a little bit. I can't go very far with this one, so. And I kinda, as I rock a little bit, kind of just like get myself in there. Okay. And then the last one, is, the last one we're going to do with the wrists is we're going to do side to side. So your arms are going to be like this. Okay. Or your hands are going to be like that. And we're just going to push side to side. So lean from one side to the other. And I usually stay in this spot for a second before I go to the other side, just to get in there. Okay, good. All right, so the next move that we're gonna do, I'm gonna do my best to show you what it looks like on the floor. Um, I'm gonna come this way. I think it would probably work a little bit better if I did. Um, so let's see. Yeah, okay, that's fine. All right, 
So we're going to come forward, do my best to stay in the video, come forward. You know what? I don't think that's going to work. So come forward like this. You're going to roll over onto your right side and let your arm fall behind you. Your knee, your left leg will support you. You'll have it down on the mat. See how mine is bent? And just hold. Okay, good. Bring it onto the other side, roll forward, roll onto your left side, right, right leg comes up for support, <clears throat> right hand comes up behind you. If you can interlock your fingers, great, if not, that's totally fine. Okay, good. All right, and roll it over. We're gonna bring it back into child's pose. We're gonna take one deep breath. Think about something we're grateful for. All right. Pop it up, take a deep breath in. One more. Smile, feel good. You did something great for your body today. And we're gonna call it a day for today, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Thank you for giving me a shot. Please like, please subscribe, please comment. Tell me what you liked about it, what you didn't. Um, I always welcome any feedback I can get, and I appreciate you guys. Have a great day. Drink your water and stay healthy.